We say in Mexico the past weekend, this past weekend, dissident teachers organized a boycott of standardized teacher evaluations that they believe seek to undermine their labor rights. Now, the teachers have increased protests in recent weeks against the country's so-called education reform. Our correspondent Clayton Kahn now is in Mexico with more. For many teachers working in the country's public school system, the conditions and facilities are anything but optimal for providing a dignified and free education. With lack of maintenance and overcrowding, they criticize the authorities for their lack of attention and capacitation. Fix the benches because they don't have screws, they don't have seats, they are loose and wobbly and the children cannot work like that. We teachers don't have just five senses, but rather six, seven, ten, because each child requires special attention. We have received very little maintenance by the federal, state, and local federals. However, amid these varying conditions, the education authorities insist in implementing standardized teacher evaluations as part of the 2013 so-called education reform. Whether it rains or thunders, there will be evaluations, and there will continue to be evaluations in Mexico. Because those who think otherwise defend the present thing in Mexico. Yet dissident and organized teachers in various states, including Mexico City, protest the evaluation and the reform as a whole, arguing that its intent is about labor and economics rather than decent and quality education. We have always expressed as the National Coordinator of Education Workers that we are essentially in favor of an evaluation, but an integral evaluation, an evaluation that capacitates. You all heard the teacher when she said that they should capacitate, and then we will see about the evaluation. The teachers, who work and come from regions that are often rural and marginalized, affirm that the reform and its evaluations ultimately seek to privatize the education system and erode the labor rights gained from decades of organizing. This vision of quality education, of timing everything, that the teacher must do everything in a specific rubric of time, are geared more to a form of measuring like a factory. The dissident teachers in Mexico City affirmed that they would hold a strike on June 24th. Meanwhile, teachers in the southern state of Oaxaca were successful in postponing the first round of evaluations. Clayton Cantelasur, Mexico City.